Then I work while I'm waiting to receive my postgraduate work permit application. Friends, we have this, uh, discussed this question many times. And uh, yesterday I had another student who reached out to me and was asking the same question. So I thought I'll do an extended video with uh, all the links from different IRCC web pages. So guys, if you have submitted your application for postgraduate work permit and uh, you are waiting for the decision, you are eligible to work full time from the day you submitted your postgraduate work permit application provided you had submitted your postgraduate work permit application before your current study permit expired, you had completed your study program and you were eligible for off-campus work permit and you did not work more than 20 hours unless the public policy, right? So if after you submit your uh, postgraduate work permit application, uh, most students receive a document which is uh, IMM 0127E letter, which is a proof of submitting your application or uh, you know, a document to show that you have the work authorization. Some students usually receive it, some applicants receive it, while some do not. So what does IRCC advise? So this is, you are authorized to work until a decision is made on the application. Uh, if you have not received this document, you can re request IRCC to issue you by calling or using this web form. Okay, so this is one uh, resource from the website. There's another which clearly also mentions as well. So this is another document where it says, after you apply for your work permit, you can continue working on your, yeah. So whether there's an expiry date, you receive this document, IMM 127E form. And uh, recently I posted, uh, a video that uh, the 120 day has been extended to 180 days. So if your decision does not come from 180 days, you can still continue working under Regulation 186A Immigration Refugees and Protection uh, Regulation. You are eligible to work until a decision is made regarding your postgraduate work permit. If you if the IMM 127 form uh, expires, you can still continue work because. The IMM 127 does not override the regulation 186, what I've just mentioned. So you can still keep working. You can reach out to IRCC and request them. So regulation 186, uh, if you see this here, so this is the regulation from the Justice of Law website. This is the Immigration and Protection reg uh, Regulations. According to the regulation 186, a foreign national may work in Canada without a work permit. And this is the last subsection what we have. W, if you were a work permit holder, a uh, study permit holder who has completed the study or uh, program of study and has met the requirements uh, stipulated in paragraph five and have applied for your work permit before the expiry of the study permit and a decision has not been yet made in respect to the application. So this is basically what uh, IRCC mentions the regulations and five basically is the same conditions what I've just mentioned is uh, you are a full-time student and you were enrolled in a program and you did not work more than 20 hours unless the exemption was the public policy, right? This is it. And if your employers have any questions regarding this document, uh, you can actually show this. I'll put all these links in the YouTube video. So how can I show my potential employer that I am allowed to work while I'm waiting for the postgraduate work permit? You can show the IMM 127 form, or you can just take a print of all this IRCC links and show it to your employer. And if it is expired, the IMM 127 form, you can get a new form by calling IRCC or by raising a web form. And as I explained previously, the 120 period has been now extended to one 180 days. So my name is Gautam Kaluri, and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and uh, founder director of CIP, study abroad and immigration experts. I previously worked in Conestoga College and Mohawk College as the international students recruitment officer. Follow our channel for more updates. Uh, cheers, take care.